This is Stuwal, a vibrant industrial town an hour south of Lisbon. With its chemical industries, car manufacturers and docks, it is Portugal's busiest port. It is also the setting of one of the country's most successful labor disputes, the Stevedor strike of 2018, which saw precariously employed dockers bring the port to a standstill for nearly 40 days. In December, an agreement between port authorities and the Stevedores Union meant that 56 of the striking workers got taken into permanent contracts. And for the many still working under precarious conditions, there is hope of better contracts in the future. The future is coming, and in that future we hope the remaining colleagues that were left without a permanent contract will soon sign one. But their hard-won victory is young, and Brexit could place surprising extra pressures on the Stubal Stevedores and their struggle. That's because the port of Stubal is a site of loading and unloading of cars and car parts from across the European auto industry. Days before the strike ended last December, a reported 21,000 cars from the German maker Volkswagen were stranded in Portugal. The possibility of a no-deal Brexit has seen a series of car makers considering transferring their British factories to remaining EU countries. And Portugal could soon become an ideal destination for manufacturers such as Ford, Honda and Nissan. Stubal Stevedor and SEAL union organizer Carla Ribeiro believes that last year's strike and its victory taught her and her colleagues that the struggle is international. After all, this wasn't just a problem in Stubal. After all, this is a worldwide problem. In this world, we are all stevedores. There isn't such a thing as Portugal and abroad. In this field of work, we all are stevedores. We make no distinctions between us and others. And while SEAL is ready to fight on, the fates of Stubal Stevedores are now in the hands of Prime Minister Theresa May and her ability to negotiate with Europe.